What's up, universe? I'm going to just go through how I tie a uni knot. Um, this is 25 pound copoly, and I found that this is the knot that works for me. A lot of guys like throwing the San Diego, um, some guys throw the Palomar. I mean, there's a whole lot of knots out there, but uh, this is the one that I've just gotten used to and uh, am very confident in tying. So, the key for this knot in my mind is cinching it right. So, with a uni knot, I'm just going to go ahead and tie my normal. Basically, I'm just doubling it back, making a loop, and winding up, and I go seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. The mistake that I see people making is from here, what they'll do is they'll let go of everything, and they'll just cinch it. And basically, it's going to cinch toward the middle. And I'll wet this a little bit so I'm doing it properly. I cinch it together and kind of use my fingers. And what you're left with is kind of this barrel that has all these little lines folded over itself. And then typically what you do is you'd pull this down and you'll notice that that is really tight to pull down. And that's generally how folks tie a uni knot. I don't like this. I found that this can burn the line. And as well, I can't get it really tight on the eye. So let's chop that off and do it again. So we're going to start again the same way. Got my two lines. Double it back. And do my seven. Alright, now this is the important part. What I'm going to try to do is not allow this loop to get free so what i'm going to do is actually kind of pinch the end here and try to almost pull down with my middle finger my left middle finger here and i'm going to actually go ahead and slide it up itself and again i'm not allowing anything to twist and i'm not allowing anything to come free and now what i'm left with at the top is i don't know if you can see that just like a perfect barrel Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to pull it down. I'm going to go ahead, let my two lines, and with my fingers, I'm just going to slowly work it down. And I'm going to pull it kind of semi-tight, but not super tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this tag in and make sure that this notch cinches down. So I'll put it in my mouth and pull on it. And then I'm going to pull my main line. So now what you're left with is a really nice, clean even knot that's not all bunched up against each other and not all crossing together. That's how I tie the uni knot.